Linda Martell. <laughs> In 1969, a young black woman by the name of Thelma Louise Bonham went to Nashville, Tennessee. She went to Nashville to sing country music. She got there, she signed with a guy by the name of Shelby Singleton, owner of Plantation Records. She released three country music top 100 billboard singles. One of them titled Color Him Father. Um, and an album, ironically, titled Color Me Country. Her name is Linda Martell, and she is my grandmother. A few years ago, I started documenting conversations with her, as my mother did. My great-grandmother, her grandmother, just as family keepsakes to know more about her growing up, what her life was like when she was involved in country music, and just overall her experience as a singer, as she's been a singer most of her life. There are some names in my mind that I want to give recognition to because I'm just a fan of their music, and they are country as it gets, and I just want them all to know how much we love them back, uh, and just check out their music after this. It's uh, Linda Martell. During that time, there was this influx of attention. Um, people want to know more about her experience in country music as a black woman. So this documentary that was once just a private family keepsake has now turned into a bigger project as I continue to learn more about my grandmother's life, her experience in country music, and how she feels now about this sudden influx of attention she's gotten for her contributions to a very white space, a very white male dominated space. In this documentary, I want to talk about some of her struggles in the industry. And now with conversations coming up about royalties and contracts, there's just so much to unpack and uncover. But most importantly, what I want to do is give her the opportunity to tell her story in her words. I want my grandmother if nothing else, to be able to own her story. I want her to regain control of her voice. So this is the story of Linda Martell. And she can't get loose, turn to face, face of the blue. 